So, once you restart your Mac, you might see something like this. That's okay. Let's just go into System Preferences. So that's right here, Open Security Preferences. And from there, we should see this window popping up. In this window, we're just gonna put down here below on the left-hand side, we're gonna see Click to Unlock. So let's just click to Unlock. It's gonna ask us for our password. Click on Unlock. And finally, we can just allow the software. So right down here, it's gonna say some system software has been blocked, loading just allow it. And we're going to see is this, all this has been blocked. So Joshua Wise, we know that one's for sure. So we're going to go ahead and click on OK. Once we click on OK, we should be OK. So we can close this up. Now in the bottom of your screen, you should see Finder. Let's just open up Finder. And from Finder on the left hand side, we should see Applications. So just go into your Applications. Under Applications, just look for DJI. So it looks something like this. We can also find this under our spotlight search. So we can just type in spotlight search DJI assistant and we should be able to find it. Right now we're just gonna double click on it to open it up. And again, we should see something like this. Just click on allow, allow again. And once that opens up, we should see this. Let's just confirm this for now. We're gonna agree, we're gonna agree again. And at this point, what I'm gonna do is just turn this on and then just hit next. And for most of you, you will have a login already. So what I suggest doing on the top right hand side, you're gonna see login. Just log in right now. And that's what you use to maybe buy your DJI. That's the exact same login you would use right here. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're just gonna type in our account and then password. Or at this point, it's good to just sign up if you haven't done so. Once you guys have signed in, just continue on with everything else. So in this case, I'm actually gonna join the improvement program. You don't have to, you can click the second option, do not consider. So I'm just gonna go ahead and choose that option. And right now it's gonna take us through the steps. So at this point in time, we should just plug in our Mavic Air 2 into our computer. By the way, if you guys have a hub, it's better not to plug it in directly to your hub. It's better just to plug it in directly to your computer. So right now it's plugged in. We're just gonna turn on our DJI. So just turn it on. I'm gonna allow this for now. And we're gonna see this. It's gonna say connected devices on the top left hand side. And this is a Mavic Air 2. I'm just gonna click on it. At this point, we can download any firmware, for example. Um, there's nothing, we're all good actually, so we can just press on refresh for now. And the whole update process might take 10 minutes, blah, blah, blah. So we could refresh right now. I'm not gonna do that at this point because we're just transferring pictures. Uh, it's good to refresh, but it does a current, so we should be okay. So let's just take a look at what you guys have on the site. You do have log, export, calibration, and simulator. However, that's not what we want. What we want to is import our pictures. However, right here, it's good to know that you guys can do all that from right here. So right now, on your desktop, you should see these two things. So one should be Untitled 1, the other one Untitled 2. And that's because one's internal storage and the other one is your SD card. So at this point, we're just gonna open up this very first one. And this is exactly what we should see. So let's just open up the very first option. So that's the folder. Open this one up again. And we're gonna see all right here, the videos that we have. So to export them, we can just drag them out. So I can select them, just drag them onto my desktop or any folder that I want. Right now for the purpose of this video, I'm just dragging them out. And that's gonna copy those videos out of there onto my desktop. I can also press Command C to copy, Command V in order to paste it anywhere I would like. So right now I have a video that's the same name. Doesn't matter, I'm gonna keep both, keep both. And there we go. So how long will this take? Well, again, it depends on your videos, how long they are. And uh, if you recorded them on 4K, obviously it's gonna take a little bit longer. Other than that, it should be pretty fast actually to import all your videos. So meanwhile, this is happening. I want to show you guys the other one. So here's our other option, Untitled 1. Let's just open that up. And it's going to be the exact same thing. We're gonna open up the first option, first option again, and we're gonna see all our videos. So yes, all these videos would be from my SD card versus the other ones that were from my internal memory. So what I'm gonna do in this case, if you guys don't want to just select them all and import them the way that I did, you can always press Command A to select them all. Or if you guys would like just to import a few of them and not all of them, we can just go ahead and select those. So we can select this one. I can press Command on my keyboard, select that one and select that one just by clicking on them. From there, 
I'm a big fan of dragging out, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit, and I'm going to drag these guys out here. Hopefully nothing else has the same name. Yep, nothing else has the same name, so this should be pretty fast. Once I'm done exporting videos into my Mac, which I did, the other one's already finished. So here are the other ones. I can just delete them. It's uh, pretty easy just to delete them. You can always format. That's what I suggest doing. Even if you do delete them from here, just by selecting them and then just pressing Command Delete, you can go into your drone and format both your SD card and your internal memory. So that wipes everything out. So right now I'm just gonna wait until this is done copying and then I'm gonna show you how I deleted the videos from my internal memory and my external. So the external memory, what I mean is your SD card, which I'm transferring right now. And the videos I just deleted, those were from my internal memory of my drone. Again, once I'm done this, I can just delete them. So I know they're done right now. I'm just gonna check them out. So here they are, the videos, they're ready to go. That means I can just delete the ones that I don't want anymore. Now there's a few old ones here, so I'm just gonna select everything. And this time I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna move to trash just to show you the long way of doing this. Now before you unplug anything on your Mac, you do need to empty out your trash. That's how you make sure that everything got erased properly. So empty trash. Once you guys have emptied out your trash, you should be good to go. So right now I transfer those pictures, I got rid of them. I can just close this up, close that up. And this assistant right here, I don't really need it anymore because I'm not doing anything from the simulator or calibration or I'm not gonna log any exports. So at this point in time, I'm just gonna quit this now. And here are all the videos that I just imported from my Mavic Air 2 onto my Mac. Of course, to make sure that everything went okay, I can just right click on one of them. And from there, I can just go into Get Info. Under Get Info, I can see the dimensions. So this was a 4K video, and it's 4K, so perfect. Something else I can test out is just the video itself. So right now, I'm doing a lot of things on my Mac, so it might be a little laggy. I'm gonna play it out anyways, just to see that it's all okay. Let me just go forward on it. Yeah, and it seems that it's okay. Anyways, that's how to import anything from your internal memory and your external memory, which is your SD card, onto your Mac without having to actually take out the SD card from your Mavic. If this is not working for you guys, having problems, maybe your Mac OS is not compatible for some reason, I would just go ahead, take out the SD card, put it in my Mac, and that's usually what I do anyways, because this does require that your drone has some battery into it. Maybe your battery run out, so just take out the SD card, plug it into your Mac, and just import it that way. Anyways, that would be it for this video. If you guys have any questions, comments, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.